Yo, it's Diego305. This is my shooting badge method that is easy and can get you at least a badge a game with five minute quarters, sometimes even two. Before I start explaining, can you please like the video if it helps you or if you're like me and you like every video you watch. I'm going to show you how I do the method first and then after that, if you stick around, I'm going to include the animations, the badges, the settings, all that stuff I use. Plus, I'm going to include the information of how to do this if you're not a point guard and you can't call plays yet. So I'm about to explain in very like specific detail how I do all of this, but I do need you to know that there's one little caveat and that is on some teams you can just run a quick iso and when you come to this left hash it clears everyone out in the method i didn't use the quick uh quick iso because for whatever reason on when i was on the pelicans when i would run a quick iso it wouldn't clear everyone out so if you can on your team just run a quick iso and it clears everyone out of that side of the court just use that instead it's faster than calling a play and setting the play up uh both methods still work but like I said, if the quick ISO doesn't work, use the play I'm going to use in the explanation instead. Everything else is the same. You can still use uh, all the other details about the signature combo that I'm going to explain and all that stuff. So yeah. As the possession starts, I head towards the left hash mark with the ball. As you are dribbling towards or once you're at the hash mark, you can bring up the playbook by pressing L1 or LB followed by the position you play x or a for point guard circle or b for shooting guard etc etc depending on which console you play on and there you want to find the play labeled iso five out seven and select it the play brings this player with the x icon over their head to the spot that i've circled make sure that player comes to a complete stop once they've stopped throw them the ball if you throw it to them before they've stopped you can ruin the play and you might not be able to run it again The player will throw you the ball back immediately. At the same time, the player in the near corner will clear out. As soon as you get the ball, you want to start dribbling by putting the ball down, and then you want to start your signature combo by holding RT or R2 depending on console, and then flicking the right stick up once. The combo I use needs me to start the signature combo when the ball is in my left hand so I can explode towards the left. You basically want to pick any combo where your player holds the ball for a split second with the right hand during the combo so when you start going left you get a crossover that's very fast. Once the ball gets into your right hand during the dribble, hold RT or R2 and move towards the sideline and go around the defender. Make sure you take a wide route around the defender. You want to get to about the baseline, at which point you start the spin jumper by holding RT or R2 and double tapping the shoot button and holding it on the second tap. The spin will make a lot of space and you'll be able to take a wide open jump shot. The play keeps working. It doesn't matter how good the defender is because the spin jumper is going to be wide open. It even works on really good defenders like I'm going to show here. The play will keep working at least until you have high 20s in points. Then the CPU starts doubling. You can still run the play, but the shot will be slightly contested. If you need finishing badges, just take the dunk or layup at this point, or keep shooting like these clips. Now that you know what to do, I'm going to show my attributes, settings, badges, animations, and anything and everything else that might help make this process a little bit easier. I know it's at 80 right now, but when I started this method, I only had a 70 mid-range and only a couple of badges. You don't need to have really high shooting stats or an amazing timing for this method to work. You only need a little mid-range and a little bit of ball handling to make your life easy. When it comes to the settings, there's no right answer, only what you're comfortable with. You can still get the shooting badge a game on pro difficulty. I was doing that when I first started the method. I only put it up to Hall of Fame because it was so easy that I felt like I wouldn't really lose much by going to Hall of Fame, and I didn't. For minutes, I was playing on 5 just so I can go through games quicker, you know, get the VC that comes with playing games, that kind of stuff. But if you're not a starter, 5 minutes might not be enough at all to really get going, so you might want to bump that up. It shouldn't really affect the method, so if that's what you want to do, go ahead. For badges, I'm assuming if you're watching this, it's because you don't have many at this point. If that's the case, you should definitely start this method on pro difficulty and work your way up as you get more badges and get comfortable. Once you get badges, the first thing you want to invest in is difficult shots. Difficult shots 
and sniper sniper is going to make your life easier i'm sure you can green these shots but i'm very confident that you're not going to be getting earlies and lates you're going to be getting slightly early and slightly lates sniper is going to help so the thing you're going to want to improve the most is sniper and difficult shots so those shots are makeable once you get those maxed out then you're going to want to add things that make your life even easier while doing the method like for example hot zone hunter because you're gonna be shooting the same the same zone every time so hot zone hunter volume shooter because you're gonna be taking a lot of shots you're not gonna be passing very much in this method uh dead eye and blinders will help too and at this point the method is just gonna be very easy to do you also want to have just a couple of playmaking badges quick first step to make beating the first defender extremely simple and then you want to go to handles for days so you lose as little stamina as possible when it comes to animations there's only two things that matter your spin jumper i use trey young you can use a different spin jumper if you can get space with it that's fine it's just the one i got used to and your signature combo again i use devin booker but you don't have to use that you can use any of these any you want as long as you can make space with it to quickly blow by your defender going left that's fine the takeovers i would recommend ankle breaking shots and negative impact perk i put juice just because since my mid-range isn't in the 90s and in most of this video and most of the clips you saw i was actually in the 70s i wanted that extra boost and negative impact is going to help when they do start double teaming you're going to be able to hit over the contest if you're not a point guard you might not be able to call plays the way you're able to call plays is by getting the encore coach badge the way you get that is by going into the quest menu finding the luka Doncic one where you have to talk to him he's by the black lives matter court you go talk to him he tells you whatever 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 ignore him doesn't matter you have to get a bunch of a pluses in several games and once you do that you'll be able to call plays if the play we need to use is not in your playbook just press start go to the career tab in my career tab and you go to edit playbook press try and go to view play catalog we're in the isos we want iso five out seven you gotta go all the way here gotta scroll a little bit sorry iso five out seven and there you go add play yes and that's it yeah i think i covered all the bases there if there's anything that i didn't include here that is important or that you're curious about just let me know leave it in the comments or if you want an even quicker answer just tweet at me i'll see that before i'll see the comment but yeah if you enjoyed or if this was helpful again please like it and subscribe if you really appreciate it i, I would appreciate that a lot but uh, yeah have a great day